to welcome you to the first ever Rose Garden Gaming. Not only is this my first actual video playing a game, but this is going to be my first playthrough of the Ratchet & Clank series. I have every game, but I've never played a single one. I had a roommate that loved them. I've seen the gameplay. I know I'm going to love it. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is Ratchet & Clank, and I am playing on the PS2, baby. Old school, original, ooey gooey goodness. Guys, he looks like a kind of velvet. You know, it kind of looks like how DBZ started. Now we just need reddits. There's Final the farmer. Step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Looks like he needs a robot. Meanwhile. Those words go by real fast. Alexa, add that to my Amazon Prime Christmas list. It's so cute! You know, that's on you for that shit parking. Approaching Planet Velvet. 11.47 a.m. local time. Wizard! Let's go, R2! Now this is pod racing! Don't kill me. Is this like Daxter, like Jack and Daxter, where he's not gonna say a damn thing this whole first game? Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. Yeah, We're here to controls. offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. I think the, the, the makers of the Lego games got a little inspiration from this. You go down the hole. 
my impression of a pancake. Captain Slow, dirty. Whenever the hell. We were on a mission to find so little robot dead. Crash I don't know what these things are, but they're annoying. And I'm gonna bash the fuck out of them. And look, they drop little bolts for me. I'm going to enjoy this. go after ain't nobody want no damn tutorials you may notice and I'm so sorry I use naughty language but you know I'm 36 years old so I'm kind of going to talk like talk how I want Gadgetron's Omni-Wrench E-1000 includes a new Comet Strike feature. To activate it, use the R1 button to crouch, and then press the square button. Oh, yeah. And Captain America throws his mighty shield. All the enemies must yield. Started, but crashing all these boxes makes me want to play Crash Bandicoot. Is there lives in this game? My lack of knowing Jack Squabble and my apparent inability to control this camera worth a damn. I'm probably going to fall off a lot. Oh man, they don't make games like this anymore. And if you say Rift Apart... I smack you. I can't play that one yet. People say that makes me a furry. I say, hey, maybe I'm just an amputee. I do like biking from Guilty Gear.
Who needs super soldier serum? I've got a wrench and a tail. To use your bomb glove, press the circle button to equip it, and the circle button again to fire. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. I stole this move from Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, Biatch! Sue me! Seriously, is he going to talk at all? Is Clank going to magically kick him in the nuts? And that makes him speak? Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. That answers that question. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, Citizen Zog. My race and the Vlog have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! Sounds good to me! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. Chairman Dreg's flagship, building orbit. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. 
pleased to make your acquaintance. Sir, you got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Back on Chairman Drake's flagship. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin. Just a little boring so Preposterous. Far. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. I... You have Captain now Quark. officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No. He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere of planet Novalis. Try not to leave any marks. Yeah, because that's how crashing ships work. Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. When this icon appears, your progress is being saved. While the icon is on screen, do not remove the memory card or turn off the power. Some of you younger folks might not know what this means, but memory card was this little plastic doohickey you had to put in the PlayStation. And if you didn't have it, you couldn't save your games, because CDs and DVDs don't save games. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Join me next time on Rose Garden Gaming. I'm going to play more of this. And hopefully I get better. Because I suck. I like video games. I like video games. I like video games. And tickle bitties.